Okay, a little bit more about mixing and some of the controls and things like that. I am still on that assembly layout and I have a handy dandy microphone here. So if I hit select, you can watch, check, one, two, check, check. So I'm, I'm getting signal. Now, up here under processing, I wanna take a look at what these buttons do. I've got the high frequency um, filter or high pass filter um, on. So let's turn that off and go back, go back to the overview screen. Check, one, two, check, one, two. So you can see I've got, um, I've got signal there. And you notice compressor, auto, slow, opto, right there. Check, one, ha. That bar on the left is telling you how much effect the compressor is having. So sometimes you want just a little bit, sometimes you want a whole lot. Um, delay you're probably pretty never going to use. But these are also details on the settings, the preamp, the gate, the insert, PEQ. There we go. Parametric EQ. So this is what I'm saying, that and that are related. So you can actually um, modify it from there or there and you're doing the same thing. All right, so that's the processing button. The meter button can often be, be handy. Um, and you've got various ways to meter. These are good ways to tell, okay, am I actually getting a signal? Let's pick up this mic again. Check, one, two, okay, the podium is working. So if I'm not getting sound, I know it's not the podium's fault. Um, effects just has to do with reverbs and whatnot. Eventually we'll get into that. Uh, mix, you can tell there are some names on here. Uh, monitor, stage, two, three, and four. And there's main. And stereo mix, there's a record output. Effects is probably where you guys are going to play the most. Um, it's got some reverbs and a DDL is a digital delay, automatic, tr automatic track doubling. It's kind of fun to play with, these two, and then some vocal effects. These are the, probably the things we'll be using on musicals and whatnot. Mainly we're going to be using main, uh, maybe reverb for music performances. Um, I.O., to be honest, don't mess with it. Um, this is ch checking and naming things and connecting the software and the hardware, so just don't mess, mess with that. Scenes, this is actually going to be very, very handy because if you come up with a scene that you like, you can save it here. There are 500 different scenes, and you can tell there's a whole bunch of them open. So if you come up with a scene or you would you know, like to save it in a location, um, Let's call the 100s the playground. So, okay, let's call the 50 to 100 the playground. So call it your name. That way, when you make changes, you can save it to your scene and, um, and nobody else will, will mess with it. Uh, ganging, you're never gonna use. Um, there are very, very specific reasons to use that and that's not going to uh, happen here. And then the whole, this setup, please don't, don't mess with that. With the one exception, the automatic mic, mic mixer, and I'll deal with that in another video. So there's your buttons. Again, if you're shutting it down, you go to setup. Do, 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 do. Nope, you go to processing. And select has to be off. That's, that always catches me. Because if select is on, you get that screen. With it off, you get that screen. And that's the one you want to power down. So don't forget, power down. Time for the next video.